Located in the middle of sub-Saharan Africa, Rwanda is often called the land of a thousand hills. It has been known for its natural beauty, rich culture, and breathtaking people. Unfortunately, these qualities have been overshadowed by a recent and horrific past. In 1994, there was a genocide in Rwanda. It was reported that almost one million people were killed. Given what has happened in Rwanda, this has awakened a passion inside me that I've had since I was a child. And I have gathered a number of people to help me pursue my childhood dream. And we are building a children's village in Rwanda called Nibakure Children's Village. In 1994, many children of Rwanda became orphans, the living victims of the genocide. Today, these orphans are being joined by a new generation of orphans due to rapes and mass displacement when HIV and AIDS spread dramatically. The orphans of Rwanda have enormous unmet home care and education needs. These children live a life characterized by uncertainty, fear, and loneliness. They simply don't have the support and resources they need to do more than merely survive. The government and the people of Rwanda are attempting to address this issue, but the needs are overwhelming. Many of these children live on the streets. Some of them sleep in garbage dumps, and they don't attend school because they don't have means to go to school, buying uniforms, buying books, and all the basic things we take for granted in this country. Nibakuri Children's Village has partnered with Hope College in Michigan, Seagull Family Foundation, and numerous other individual donors. With these partnerships, we've been able to raise funds to start construction of Nibakuri Children's Village in May of 2009. Nibakuri has also received financial support from the Rotary International to raise the water storage system, similar to the one you see on this picture. But we have also received support from individual Rotary clubs in the US and in Rwanda. Nibakure Children's Village plans to have a total of 150 children. These children will be raised by widows. There will be 15 homes, 10 children and two mothers in each home. The plan is to also have an elementary and secondary school, two vocational schools, a community clinic, a multi-purpose auditorium, a house of worship, a guest house, a soccer field, basketball and volleyball courts, a farmland to grow chickens and goats, and an orchard. The produce will be coming back to the village to feed the children and also to be sold in the surrounding communities. We recently took a team of 13 people from Scotland who got involved in the construction of the first phase of the village and that made a huge difference. We need many more volunteers who will get involved in the construction and in the running of the village in the years to come. We still need much more financial support to complete the construction of the village and for the day-to-day -day operation. Please consider supporting us in any way possible. If people need more information, they can go to our website, which is www.nibakure.org and we thank you for your support.